All right, never mind. Okay, there we go. All right, guys, so let's get started um, and go right into finding what is moving this morning. There are a couple of stocks. First of all, Roku did really, really bad yesterday. Stock got destroyed. You could see it right here. It just literally just tanked. And uh, it's trying to make a little bit of comeback. But listen, it was probably the only decent stock that we could have traded. But it is expensive. I know a lot of us look at a stock like this and we can't really afford it. And not that we can't trade other stocks. But for some of, some of you advanced traders, stock was right up your alley. You know, one thing I really liked about it, which a lot of you beginner traders could learn, is that you could see how it was breaking lower lows, lower lows, lower lows, lower lows. Just kept going down, down, down. And uh, listen, stock had a, had a great run. Had a great run. I mean, listen, Roku at $40 at the beginning of the year went to 160 Where the hell did you find a stock gold? 500 was that, uh, what is that, uh, 300 almost 400%? I mean, that is phenomenal, phenomenal. Went to the bank the other day, and the guy was pitching me, telling me, he says, you know, if you really want to be, you know, if you want to make some good money, we can move your money into a CD. I'm like, really? How much is that? Well, if you let us keep it over five years, you can't take it out, you'll make about 3%. I'm like, oh my God. I mean, that sounds like a score, I told him. I said, but let me think about it. Let me get back to you. I told him 3% in five years. That is absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, that's why we love trading, right, guys? Anyway, um, this stock, obviously, I want to keep an eye on. It's going to go on the watch list. Um, this stock looks pretty interesting. The SPI, I want to just talk about that one, too. That was one that we found yesterday, and, and it really had a nice little pop. And then all of a sudden, it just literally just tanked. I don't know what happened. It just kind of had that really nice little uptrend. And then uh, in the pre-market, it went down. I thought that was going to be our next Fran trade. This is not coming up. Waiting for data. Oh, thanks a lot. So we had that nice little run up there, and the thing just really just kind of came down. Uh, let me type in the middle stock. Let me see if that will fix that. MDR. Uh, it looks like this thing is starting to give me a little issue. So MDR, let me bring up another platform. Looks like I'm just having a here with that. Bring up another platform. There we go. All right. Let's just look at some other stocks. Uh, so we had the SPI trade right there. And let me just change to a two-day chart. So you can see that stock had a really nice push. It didn't tank. It didn't go anywhere. So that stock, I don't know what happened with that one. And then you have, uh, what else that had moved pretty good? The MDR. The MDR took a really, really big hit yesterday from six to two. And uh, which pretty, which, which got, you know, absolutely just tanked. It, got, it actually got halted seven, several times because it got, because of the news. Now, I love stocks that get crushed, guys. I drool about it. I love it. Unfortunately, it's someone's catastrophes, but it's going to be our opportunity. I want to look. I want to be very careful and keep an eye on the bounce on this stock. All right, so uh, it did make a nice bounce right around here, somewhere around two thirty, and at a buck twenty, had a really really nice bounce. Did come back down again, but let's keep a close eye on. It. I kind of like that one right there, the MDR. Uh, something uh, McDermott PR I've confirmed. I don't know something they 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 had hired some advisors or something like that, and uh, something went on with that. Some little fishy going on over there. You know, something is really not right what caused that. But, I don't know, something about their balance sheets or whatever, that kind of freaks me out. I'm just telling you right now, there's not something like, oh, maybe it's a good buy, swing trade, or maybe somebody owned it's an average down. No, no, no. You know, we all know about how that, how that story ended on a lot of the stocks. One stock that just keeps pushing up really, really nicely is this LXRX. I thought this was pretty nice because it's filling in the gap, Phil. I thought it was going to go to four anyway. I think this was probably the, probably the best stock that had the decent move yesterday. It was a cheap stock, not expensive. That one obviously did pretty well. All right. I'm still in the L. Uh, LX was nice call also, Fausto, uh, from Grant. Uh, Grant's still in it, the LXRX. Yeah, you know what? It, it's, I, I, I was saying it a couple of days ago. I said, listen, the stock has been trending up nicely. It was a buck fifty. It's breaking higher highs. Remember what we learned in class, right? And for all my, you know, because you know, obviously this is going to be broadcasted on our YouTube channel, my Facebook channel. I really want people to understand something. If you want to be a good swing trader, you want to be a good options trader, you damn well better learn how to day trade first. 
because it's the movement of what happens over the course of the day which trickles down into a swing trade. And you're know, knowing and seeing how it was trading right around a buck fifty, which you could see here around September when I blow this up right here, you could see it right here. You know, and it started breaking up. I mean, you chased it, but you knew. Say, so, you know what? Stock keeps breaking up. And once it broke this resistance level, it was around 250. That's when we really knew it was really off to the races. So, yeah, I mean, listen, it's a cheap, cheap little stock, and it was great, you know? But, um, you know, once again, if it starts breaking down, and, and just keep an eye on your level four, you know, if it breaks down past this, this price right around here, which is obviously around the 660 right here, you know, it's maybe it's time to take some of that, walk away with some of that winnings. All right, the big news this morning is obviously the X. I don't know what the hell is going on with X, but X, we do know, it's got, it's got some major supports just above $10, okay? We're not that far off. So U.S. Steel, I don't know. This was like the greatest uh, Trump stock, you know, pump, you uh, know, talking about steel, U.S. Steel. I don't know what the hell happened to it. it, it we, we would try, you know what? If we didn't learn how to day trade, as much as the news sounded so great about it, if we didn't learn how to day trade and some of us held this stock, we got crushed on the stock, okay? So this is why also, once again, I kind of reiterate, you got to know what happens over the course of the day to know how you want to swing trade it. And if you were, you know, on the on the U.S., the steel uh, was a wagon, you basically fell off. And uh, it's obviously taking you down a dead a dead end road. But let's see what happens right around ten dollars. All right, could be could be a swing trade right there. WWR, another stock that's moving up uh, pretty decent this morning. Gets it's up about twenty three percent, eighty three thousand shares. That one has some nice little movement right there. O B L N, another one that's gapping up a little bit. Ah, uh, maybe not. You know, we know the stock. I did we traded it not too long ago when it gapped up from like. A dollar went to eight bucks. Remember that stock? Go back to your, 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 your journals. Always nice. I always tell you this. You're going to bump into these stocks again. All right. So I don't know. I thought it was pretty decent. I might, might change the channel. Maybe I'll scratch that one. Everybody see what's happening with over, Overstock? That was a fun stock that we traded. We did great with that one. Look at that. Bam. Stock goes from 15 to 30. Right back down to 15. Okay, how does that feel? You know, that I, you can't, whatever goes up comes down twice as fast. Really like that stock a lot, like where it's trading at. We know it's at major support levels. Let's see what happens if it holds. But this stock has just been a, just a fun stock to trade. So overstock, what else we got? AMM, uh, AIM, this one also, new IPO that came out, starting to gap up a little bit. Maybe it's coming back. We'll keep an eye on that one. Throw that on our watch. So there's a couple of stocks out there. Uh, o R um, E R O S. This is what I found early in pre-market. Another stock that got destroyed. You can see it was at ten dollars, went all the way back down to dollar twenty. You know, this is starting to become a little bit more of a swing trade. Uh, it's very slow, so just keep an eye. Just be careful. It's a little slow. Does trade some decent volume. Look at one point three million shares almost traded already. Nice, nice move right there. I'm seeing some great orders on the level four. So that we're going to keep an eye on that too. I G C. Up 19%. Mm, you know what? Gapped up, but she's trying to trend down. She's holding here pretty strong. Nice little cheapy. We'll keep an eye on that. We know about the MDR. That one's on there. And then we know about the Roku. So we got a pretty decent amount of stocks out there. Still, listen, I know a lot of us going back and looking at the Fran trade, F-R-A-N. Let me just bring that up. For some of you did not see that. Uh, went from 5 all the way to 20. And we did. We killed it. That We killed that stock. Listen, just get, I just want to guy, let you guys be aware. We're going to get another one. We get one at least once a week, okay? It's still, you know, so don't look at it and like, oh, what about, you know, can we get another 200, 500% mover in one day? Yes, we do get them. But that is like, you know, you're doing your time, you're here, and you're just in the right place in the right time. But remember, the ultimate goal is not to hit home runs, everybody. It's about making a day's pay. Uh, Josh says, uh, AMI is a two, 22,000 share bid order at 315. All right. All right. Uh, uh, Josh, thanks for sharing that with us. And you could see it. That's basically what, where, uh, where I basically was kind of calling it out right there. That's basically why it's kind of picking up right there. So it kind of makes sense. Mark already made nine cents. You jumped on that one. All right. Way to go, Mark. Give him a round of applause.
Andre says X is loving that 882 support levels right now. L listen, I'm hawking that thing, Andrea. I'm keeping an eye on that. Mark says just enough to go to Burger King. <laughs> well, if you bought a thousand shares, I probably say you can probably go to Chick Fil A. <laughs> All right. So good luck, everybody. Happy trading. We'll see you back at 12 o'clock for the open house. And then don't forget, class starts today, phase two. So we'll see you all in there if you're all students out there. Remember, you got to learn before you can earn. We're going to be covering some great topics today. And, uh, and don't forget, my phase three starts next week where you'll be trading side by side with me. So uh, look forward to seeing you there. Guys, good luck today. Happy trading. And uh, just once again, just focus on the day's pay. Good luck, everybody.